Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 10th of February for the Sun and the Ascendant. If you're new to my channel, I'd be honoured if you'd subscribe. This week begins with the power, the sheer power of that amazing full moon in Leo still pouring its energy into our situations. Now, of course, Leo is about the heart and this week is very much about Valentine's Day for a lot of people, perhaps not for others. But if that is part of your equation, the Leo full moon can certainly see us aspire to the things that bring happiness and joy into our situation. But also, as this week begins, Venus is finding its way in the sign of Aries. And Venus in Aries is more acquisitive. So if there is somebody that you're drawn towards, you may find yourself wanting to take the initiative, particularly as it combines with Chiron, the comet, which is the wounded healer. So if there is a need to have some kind of extra uh, uh, intimacy or warmth in your world, even if you're in an, an existing relationship, this combination will help. Now, Mercury has entered its shadow phase before the retrograde begins uh, next Monday, Monday the 17th. So that's something we have to be aware of, that things can get slower. And of course, Mercury in Pisces is in uh, detriment anyway. But despite this, Mercury actually forges a beautiful angle to the North Node for the first half of this week, also known as the point of destiny. Now, this can be very good for us to pick up the prevailing uh, trends uh, that are going on, whether they're cultural or whether it's in terms of listening to our own instincts. And, of course, uh, we also have Uranus in the sign of Taurus, which is making us more conscious about our resources as well. But that brings us to uh, Wednesday and Valentine's Day itself, which does see the moon in the passionate sign of Scorpio. And interestingly, by Friday, there is actually a quarter moon between uh, the moon in Scorpio and the sun in Aquarius. Now, the sun in Aquarius forges a beautiful semi-sextile to both Saturn and Pluto all, all through this week. So if we can kind of work uh, at being true to ourselves that comes through the individuality of Aquarius, but also cooperating with others, uh, to achieve tangible results, Capricorn, Saturn in particular, that can be a smart thing to do. Uh, however, Jupiter and Neptune, uh, the two rulers of Pisces, are also forging an almost angelic combination this week. So if we do want to embrace a more spiritual way of being or raise our consciousness, these two can certainly be of great help. But by Sunday, Mars makes its move after a six-week journey through the uh, swashbuckling and buccaneering transit of Sagittarius into the sign of Capricorn. Mars is actually exalted in the sign of Capricorn, so this is going to be an exciting transit over the next six weeks. But for now, as this week draws to a close, I think it can make us more conscious of the more worldly uh, side of our situations. But if you are wanting to bring some enchantment to your world this week, and you are thinking about someone from your past with Chiron and Venus connecting, just be conscious that with Mercury in its pre-retrograde phase, that if you do want to revisit something, I think it probably needs to be if there has been growth on both sides, both of you see things differently from what brought the relationship to an end. So if you are looking for some kind of repair or renewal, then just bear that in mind. Your specific forecast, Aquarius, suggests that with the full moon in your opposite sign, relationships may be very much part and parcel of what this week's dimension is really about. It may feel that someone's not being tuned into you as much as you want, with the power of the seventh house being aroused by the Leo moon, or perhaps someone is seeking greater affection and attention from you. It just depends on your unique circumstances. But with Venus and Chiron connecting beautifully on Monday and Tuesday, if there is something that you need to say, then say it with all your heart. It is true that Mercury is now in your sector of everyday resources. 
and it's in its pre-shadow period. If things feel a bit bogged down or they're not going quite as quickly as you would like, patience is going to be important. Despite this, Mercury does forge a very fine link with the North Node on Monday and Tuesday. Perhaps by trying to bring your instincts to bear, that can be just as important as any practical steps that you take. The Moon on Valentine's Day can see your emotions very close to the surface in a positive or perhaps more vulnerable way, depending again on where you are. But by the end of this week, with the quarter moon occurring in the sign of Scorpio, there may be a situation where you have to stand strong and defend your position and really decide what you stand for if someone authoritative tries to block your progress. With Mars moving into your 12th solar house on Sunday, this does trigger a period when you may do some intensive thinking about issues linked to your past, which may yet be to be resolved. Over the last couple of years, there's been a very intense process around the psychological part of us Aquarius's sun uh, horoscopes, and that's going to be stepped up a little bit with Mars's journey. But it could also push into the open just the final segments that you do need to grapple with and put to peace. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you'd like to ascend above your zodiac sign and embrace personal astrology and understand what makes you tick beyond just where your sun's located, please see the link beneath this video where you can order your personal character analysis and also uh, your 12 month forecast and also achieve a 30% discount, or you can choose to have a one-to-one -one personal consultation with me. But for now, good luck and goodbye.